Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you a quick way that I do Canva for my YouTube thumbnails, um, which can then I, I can convert to Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Twitter posts, and things like that. So once I do that, it's pretty seamless when you find a design you like. So I'm just going to go to YouTube thumbnail, and then I'll just kind of use one of the things I was working on before. It might take me just a second. And I think it's slower sometimes when I videotape it. So here is the dimensions for the YouTube thumbnail. It just automatically brings them up. And then what I will show you next is my designs. Okay, so this is pretty simple here. Let me grab this one. So I'm just going to drag one over of a review I've done. Okay, so this is the design I like. There are a few staple elements that I keep in it. My image, the word review, grab my bonuses, and then I just change out the product. Sometimes I have these three. I usually keep exclusive. Um, it just depends. Let's see here how I can get this guy out of there. Let's away. Okay. So the next thing I do, once I take off what I don't need as the item, the product I'm doing, I go to upload. And then I'll have all these things on the side that I'll upload. So I'm going to upload file. And then we're going to do, I believe it's pictures. Okay. And then make sure you're opened to all files. And this particular one is called business 360. So then I'll just upload those image screen grabs that I did from a website. Um, generally, it's the product website that I'm going to be doing the review on. And then make sure it's still under all files. And then we're going to pull down here and get the logo. So just two things that are pretty basic. I'm going to come up here now. Okay. So then I'm going to bring the logo over. It's just me. And sometimes it tends to get enormous. So once it's let's capture it over here a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now that it's manageable, I can just drag it here. Keep making it a little bit smaller. There we go. And then it'll just be the the logo and then next if you hear my children that's just call it what my life is like i'm a mom um and then we bring the image where i kind of want it in the middle and it just takes a second to kind of there we go and then we'll just kind of shrink that down and keep shrinking it down so this is just going to be a, a business 360 Review. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Slow it up a little. Not bad. There we go. Okay. Switch it over a little bit. Awesome. So sometimes then I just move my center some different things, or I put the exclusive over here if it looks a little imbalanced. It just depends. And then that's the YouTube thumbnail. So what is important then up at the untitled design image uh, to keep things in order, I type what the product is. So it's called business 360. And then I just put that it's a YouTube thumbnail because I'll change up the sizes. Um, 
for Twitter, for Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, what have you. So then what I'll do is I'll just download that and off it goes and it'll just pull up in my file as my the name of the product I'm about to put up on YouTube. And that's, there it is, right there. So that's just the gist of that. What I do then, I'm just gonna scooch, is I'll save, save it, and then I'll just pull from this for the next one and the next one so I have a seamless branding image and color scheme and things like that. All right, so that is my Canva YouTube thumbnail tutorial. Um, and then you can resize it very simply. On Instagram, I just pull the same image and I pull it to an Instagram post and it just resizes it. It doesn't look off or anything. Um, and if it does, we can just either create it larger or smaller. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this tutorial helped.